And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some All In Fizz, our next meme tier Monday deck. Uh, this was a deck that I believe was designed by Swim originally, or if not, he made it uh, pretty popular. Um, but I played against it once in, in uh, Masters and it looked like a really cool idea. Uh, so I'm kind of so I put it together. Uh, we'll see how how good this goes. But basically, what this is is a deck that. As far as units go, we got six. We have uh, basically two, you know, three of each. We have Fizz and we have Starlet Seer. And that's it. So we are basically all in on trying to win with Fizz. And then we have just lots and lots and lots of spells. So Fizz, of course, levels up after we cast six spells. And um, if our opponent is targeting Fizz, we can give, uh, we can stop that all enemy spells and skills that are targeting it by just simply casting a spell. So we can use every single spell in our deck as protection, as long as it's fast or burst speed. And uh, it has the same thing whenever it levels up, it just basically gets the plus one, plus one, and can start creating some chum the waters for us, for us to summon Longtooth. Um, but yeah, so like we're gonna be trying to make <clears throat> Fizz elusive and winning with an elusive Fizz and pumping up <clears throat> pumping up our fizz we have permanent buffs with pocket aces granting it plus two plus one um take heart it has to be damaged but if it's damaged then we can give it plus three plus three permanently um then we also have uh our other permanent buff of course is battle fury plus eight plus four that ends games very very fast and then our, our non-permanent buff of plus four plus four with fury of the north um so yeah so that's uh that's what we got uh, Chevy, yeah, the deck list for the Monkey Fortune is right there. You know, click on there. It's one of the first decks. Um, so yeah, let's play a whole bunch of spells. Let's have some fun. Let's go all in with Fizz. We're going to be playing five games over in ranked with our deck. <clears throat> and we'll see how we do. This is one that like this is the kind of deck that if you play it more, practice it more, you'll you'll be better with it. Um, you know, like just sequencing and everything like that. Um, yeah, like this this is one that like practice you really do get better with practice. It's not an easy deck to just pick up and play, which is what I'm trying to do. So may not work out super well. Let's keep our Starless Ears. I think I like this hand. Yeah, I think I like this hand. So the idea is to have our Starless Ears pump up our Fizz. We'll have Entreat grab Fizz. Hopefully grab the pumped up one. I guess you could draw it any. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this double Starless Seer start. Um, yeah, we could parlay, but I think I want to wait till next turn. We can play this other Starless Seer out. And get the plus two, plus two to go in. We see through all. All right, so our next ally. Get that plus two, plus two. And we'll get this lifesteal guy out of here. Alright, doing doing that to get the plunder turned on. To be able to share its spoils. Perfect. And I think I just hold on to that fizz. I don't know, I mean I guess I could play it right now. Yeah, 
We could just play right now. You must be new here. I don't think there's any real any real difference. Perfect. Those can protect Starless here. I want to kill him in just like two turns if possible. <clears throat> they are tossing a whole lot though. Take five. Yeah, we can take five. I'm holding on to this entreat. If I had if I had three more mana, you know, like this turn I, I played the entreat, but if I had three more mana, I could have gone for lethal with like go go grab a fizz, which is a trickster. You know, attack with two things, trickster to get the other attacks stuff. Yeah, and fury of the north. Like I'd have fury of the north also. Should I kill Maokai? Hey, what's up, Cyber? Brand new tier one sub. Hits our sub goal of the day. Our first sub goal, and that's our 10th sub goal since our last 10 hour stream. So that means that we have unlocked another 10 hour stream for later. Hmm. I don't think I have to worry too much about Maokai. Ugh. I don't like this game 3 life. 13? Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. Yes, I could have used Elixir of Iron to protect Starlets here, but honestly, at this point in the game, I think that all I need to do is protect this Fizz. I don't think that Starlets here is that important. Be good. I probably should have cast this Entreat before Maokai levels up. I guess I should do that. Three teeth told me about this one. Twenty-four out of twenty-five. All right, let's let's do this <laughs> real quick. Should probably do that. Because once that Maokai levels up, you know it it gets rid of all non, or it gets rid of all my champions. So I should probably have another champion in hand just in case.
All right, then we set up a kill next turn. about misfortune quindex are pretty good i mean we just we just played one we just went four and one in master's rank i think they're they're solid they're not perfect you know like they're yeah they're not perfect but i think they're very solid well that card was good i was planning on playing the make it rain to try to do one damage now we can just do this. Should I still play Make It Rain? How much mana are we going to have next turn? So we'll have 8. If I play Make It Rain, 9, 10. We'll have 10. So that'd be 4, 8 with 1 Elixir of Iron Protection. I guess I'm only losing 1 mana. It'd be 13 or 8, 9. So I just have 3 instead of 4. Come on, go face. Yeah. This will be a good winter. Give them room to oh yeah, I guess I could have kept the challenger in case they have elusive fish. That's that's a good call. You're right. You're right. I should have done that. Yeah, I should have done that. Alright, and lethal. So basically, I, I need to attack with the other thing because if something happens, then we would trickster and get another combat. And then, yeah, if I trickster and get another combat, and then they have elusive fish, that's a good call. So yeah, I should have kept the challenger for that. I didn't think of that, but yeah, that's that's good call. All right, GG's. Yeah, it'll be up on YouTube later tonight, Adamic. Um, it'll be the the nighttime video. Probably, I'm probably gonna post it at because I'm I'm a little behind, so I'm probably gonna post it at like 9 p.m. my time. So probably eight hours. It's probably gonna be posted in eight hours, actually. Like, yeah, basically eight hours from right now. The Mage Seekers one is up right now. And then this will be the 6 a.m. tomorrow video, and then the Bird is the Word will be the noon tomorrow video, Eastern Time. Um, this game doesn't look bad. I think we get rid of Shared Spoils. Maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the Shared Spoils. Like I kind of said earlier, this is a difficult deck to play, especially without playing this deck much. I've got your back. Okay, you're not a fan of Sejuani, but you want a you want a Lucian deck without Sejuani. We played one. We played a different one of those the other day. Uh, Another good Lucian deck, uh, Lucian Ephemerals. That could be a good option. You want a Lucian deck without Sejuani. You need to mulligan all cards that aren't units. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yep, yep, yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. I still have the brittle seal for protection if we need it. But I want to, you know, get rid of the tracker. I don't think they're gonna have a one mana spell that kills my fizz. Ooh, Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk, cool. Um. Need to keep protection for fizz. So I need to keep like two mana up for shared spoils. Um. See if I Fury of the North. That's six. I'm down to eleven. Um I guess that would be Battle Fury range for the next turn. Okay, we'll do that. I was kinda of planning on playing salvage, but we'll just do that. Combat's like their only removal spell, right? They can't even single combat and kill this thing. Mm. I'll just wait. I'll just be patient. Making the day. Just be patient. Yeah, now Sejuani is... I kind of realize that, yeah, Sejuani is going to be a problem, so maybe I should have just shared spoils, because, yeah, Sejuani... Okay, good, not Sejuani. So... I need to play this thing as a blocker. Right on! My gun does the talking. You gotta believe me! Protect and speak. No one goes. <laughs> They're mowing the yard outside. Harvey's not a fan of lawn mowing. Are you? I don't like Mama one. That's Harvey right there. RV. Okay, so we're going to Pocket Aces. This thing. We're going to block. Block, block. We go to three. That sounds good. Uh, 
And now we battle Fury for 11. That's what we got. Does it work? We're all in. You know, if this doesn't work, we lose. Oh, I need to get my Teemo emote. My Teemo. That's our deck. All in with Fizz. Push all the chips to the middle. 305. Three oh five. All right, this is going to be a tough matchup because they have a bunch of elusives to block and a bunch of removal, and they have Challenger with Vi. Reading, with Vi. Uh, this seems like this is going to be a really tough matchup. RV. The, yeah, the bird is the word deck is just playing... All we're doing is playing cards with birds on them, like this. <laughs> that deck's going to be really janky. It'll be fun, though. Um, man, I want to play Fizz. I'm probably not supposed to play Fizz, am I? Probably not. Okay, yeah, what's Swim's idea? Yeah, I, I didn't know if it was Swim's idea or if Swim just made it really popular. But yeah, this this is a definitely a fun deck to play in, and, and like I said, rewards you for uh, playing it more. Mm. I'll play this draw too. This would be a good winter. I need no weapon. Well, we got a bunch of entreats. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. To be honest. I don't really have any plays that look particularly appealing. I guess I'll play this thing, see what happens. Hoping all of these Starlet Seer triggers are going on to a Fizz. I'm hoping we get some 3 power 1 drops. Nope.
All right, turn that thing into a 4-2. That's better for Fizz. at something. <clears throat> Alright, what do we do? What do we do? This is a tough spot. I think we just attack. Attack, see what happens. We don't really have to play spells first because all their stuff's elusive anyway. I can just let this fizz die, draw new fizzes. I kind of think that's what I do with that one just being a 2-1 fizz and hopefully we have larger fizz in the future. They are down to 10. It's not a lot of life, to life with us having Battle Fury. Maybe I... Maybe we should just Battle Fury something. Yeah, because they could just like Will of Ionia. Here comes the punchline. Give me Will of Ionia. Yeah, and deny? That's cool. This would be a good winter. Um Just bounce right now. Blessed by snow and stars. Basically bouncing now so they don't um So they don't deny the will of Ionia. All right, we just have to brittle steal that thing, don't we? I need no weapon. Surrendered. Wow. The brittle steel. The brittle steel, Harvey. Yeah, that was a brittle steel. Trying to continue. There we go. They were not having that. Ah, gotta actually click. All right, we're three and zero. Meme tier Monday, getting the win so far. Getting the wins. That's a fizz. This is good against spiders. This is kind of good with fizz. Oh, 
like having these elixir of irons to protect fizz <laughs> yeah maybe it is rank up sunday who knows Keep them from drawing two cards. Slow speed. All right, you get it. Yeah, their hand must not have been too good at this time. Parley. I don't know, like, is Pocket Aces just the play here? Maybe it, maybe Pocket Aces is the play. Get that out of one toughness. One health. And start attacking for more. Mm. Yeah, maybe that was the play. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Double trouble. I'll try anyone. Hmm. Let's make some one drops. Not bad. Orange spray that is. Ugh. Yeah, I should just pocket ace it. Pocket ace it before. Withering whale so good. Oh, don't cost two mana. Okay, so seven mana, so two, five, I still have. We see through all. <laughs> Fizz is low-key broken. Yeah, I guess I didn't really realize that Fizz was leveling up and would have survived. But that's what happened. This will be a good winter. And so therefore, I didn't even need to really protect those. Final? Yeah, no, no, like, yeah, this deck's pretty fine. I guess this deck's pretty fine. I, I don't really know of any changes to make to the deck right now. I like it as is. Okay, 
Let's see. We're going to chum the waters. We have two protection spells for the Fizz. Tapped out. Let's play another long tooth. Long in the tooth. Nine, put him down to four. This would do an additional two to put him down to two. Um, and yeah, they have to block with one of these things. If we just att if we just attack out, they get to block here. These other things just block these two things. Um, so I don't actually get to do any additional damage. I think I just do this. Oh, come on, come on. Or let's see. Come yeah, on. what if we yeah, we could do Crimson take the spider, which is two damage. That's two damage. Um one of these blocks here, then even if they have the three toughness block there, that's another two damage. We'll try this. We'll try this. Thanks, Adfall. Long time YouTube watcher. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what you can do. That's three. Hmm. Ouch. Can't keep that alive. Mm. This didn't work out too good. Ugh, this didn't work out too good at all. Oh, this hurts. Still gonna save the elixir of iron to protect Fizz instead of protecting this long tooth. Poro. You so elusive. Oh, what's up, Fizz? By my hat, Noxus rides. Grand General. You get a blocker for that Swain. And then, of course, we're going to try to grasp the Undying, this Leviathan. Um, I think the end of June is when the next season is. I think it's every two seasons or every two months. They haven't really had any official announcement about that. I love a taste of the action. So far.
Am I just dead? I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. With Leviathan, you know, against Leviathan. How, like, how do I beat Leviathan Swain? How do I beat this combination of two cards? I don't... I need this fizz just to, to die. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can beat this combo either. Great combo. Just stunning my cards beginning of every single turn. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, three and one now. I can't stop that at all. I can't I can't react to that. Nothing to do. Daring Poro. Aren't good against Fizz. I think I'd probably block Elixir of Iron anyway. Ooh, got some damage in though, that damage could be important. Oh, is that good? is that a good draw? Is that a good card? Have not determined. Is that a good card? Let's see. This will be a good winter. Yep, looks pretty good. Ah, an auspicious season. We got a 4-3 Fizz coming in. That one's a little better than my 2-1, so we'll just have the 2-1 be the Playful Trickster. Don't worry, I've read all about this. <laughs> You're disrupting my research. My writing. Are no easy I should just pocket ace it 
pocket aced last turn, should I? Sorry, Valor. Yeah, we're getting all of our wins with our meme tier decks right now. We're, I'm not sure about the bird is the word deck. <laughs> Still heart, steady aim. That's gonna be. That's one of the jankiest decks I've ever played. Sorry, Quinn. Blessed by snow and stars. Dang, that's a big starless here. Should probably play that. Grant that elusive. These eyes see all. Are you lost? Oh, fizz. Oh, that playful season. trickster. Lethal. We'll have to see what else they do. Let's take this puppy for a spin. So now they'll have a, they'll have another blocker. So like if I attack all out, they you know have give elusive block kill my fizz. Take two. The other option is just attacking with this. Letting them chump block. You're boring. I think it's. I think it's attack out. I think that's the play. Hold still. You're gonna need a map. Can't get through this way. We got another fizz in hand. Fizz. I don't really think that another fizz will be. I don't think I'll really be pumped up too much. Yeah. Not. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that elusive Poro. And again, I probably am just supposed to play the Starlet Seer pre-combat. Jenny, that. Season. 
Basically making it so that the Genevieve Elmhart couldn't block Fizz. How you doing? Hopefully that's lethal. Even if it's not, they're still chump blocking with these things. Okay, it's not. So we're still left with a 9, 6, and a 7, 1 into their 3, 4. That's a good spot to be. And they're at 2 life. Another good four and one. In the battle of the meme tier decks. An auspicious season. I want both of my Starless Sears being over ten power. On some big starless ears. I'm sorry. All right. So there we go. All in fizz. Another four one. This is a fun deck to play. It is definitely a, a thinking deck. You know, you really have to um, be mulliganing well, sequencing well. Thinking about, you know, a few, you got to be thinking a few turns ahead and everything. But, um, but yeah, it was, a, it was definitely a fun one to play and pretty powerful as well. Brittle Steel saved us a couple of times. That card was awesome. I kind of like, I've seen a lot of people play a, a whole bunch of pick a cards, and I'm not really a big fan of this card. You know, it's, you shuffle one back and then draw three fleeting. So you, you really, you gain two cards, but like those those cards are fleeting and that forces you to play them like that next turn, otherwise they go away. And I just I just don't really like being priced into having to play those cards like that. See, a lot of people play like three of this card and like two salvage. And I just feel like for one extra mana, I would rather just have salvage that just draws me to where I can decide what I want to do when and I'm not priced into having to um, you know play them right then with the fleeting I don't really like that so I like salvage more uh, we didn't get to really take heart too much that's a cool card um yeah, this is this is my my take on the idea. Um, yeah, this is this is uh, my list that I put together. But I mean, yeah, it's it's just yeah, it's basically the exact you know it's the same as swims, just just a few card changes here and there. But there we go. All right, so that's all in fizz. Um, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you've been playing this deck yourself, let me know in the comments how it's been going for you. What do you think of this deck? What do you think of like maybe any of the card uh, changes I have in here? Anything, uh, any cards that I'm missing that you've been really, really happy with uh, yourself? Um, yeah, let me know. All right, but anyway, thanks so much for watching some All In Fizz, and I'll see you for the next video.